a lot of you know, know that extinction has become just a massive issue in recent years. The thylacine, dodo, moa, the list of animals that were, those whose extinctions we've caused, most well, is very extensive. It shocked even me. Yet sometimes we are able to keep a species He's from going from going extinct and through conservation. And and sorry and today <laughs> among, among among those species is 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 a type of wild horse. Or is that today? Hey, that. The largest wild population of this particular horse is found, horse is found in the Mongolian steppe. So the, the horse is known as, Shiva, as Shivalski. He is for horse. Horse the, the Taki or the, or the Mongolian wild horse. It's a bit small. It's a bit smaller. Than other horse, than other t or kinds of horses, standing approximately five feet at the shoulder, older and and weighing between weighing around um, six hundred pounds or so, oh give or take. These horses used to roam all over her Eastern Europe, urban Asia. However, comp competition from domesticated horses is habitat loss. And, and hunting by humans, predictable, led to this horse becoming extinct in the wild. And there were only a handful left in captivity in various zoo, in various zoo, zoos. I think there were, if I remember correctly, there were only 12 wolf horses, 12 of these horses, is left, left on Earth, on Earth by 19, by the 1950s. Thankfully, a conservationist stepped in, and a breeding program was established, is to is in order in in the hopes of of, of growing the horse population and perhaps reintroducing them into the wild. The 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 twelve horses were carefully he bred bred. And to, and to reduce inbre to reduce, reduce the chances of inbreeding as much as possible, which is kind of, which was kind of difficult to do. Who with only twelve of them left? Luck luckily, by nineteen seventy, is they were, is the population, got it got up into the hundreds. It's, they were all still in captivity, though. And event at, at some point, though, 
all of these horses is, is a group of these horses were re reintroduced who was back into the Mongolian step. There's there there's just under two thousand of them. I'm living there now. With with a few hundred more who are living living in Kaga I think in Kazakhstan. Um as well as a bear, as a number of individuals living in various zoos, who's including in the Smithsonian uh, and in San Diego. T today they have a global population of about, about 2,500 individuals. Though, though classified as Right, as in endangered or anything critically endangered, because there's such low genetic diversity, they're they're still extremely vulnerable. So yeah. A successful story of conservation and reintroduction. But if we are, but if, but if Shivalski's horde, nurse, and many other endangered species, these are to continue, continue to survive, more, more will have to be done. Th thank you for tuning in. Thank you for tuning in, in today. S Stay, stay tuned for when I, and I cover for the largest still, still living animal on the planet, the blue whale. The Admiral is signing off. Have a nice day.